When you need wine to grill burgers and you forget a corkscrew. <laughs> I haven't got it off yet. <laughs> Just drill a hole through the cork. We'll That's a last drain resort. It. <laughs> Back it off a little bit. Ow! I got it. Okay, good. <laughs> Country boy can survive. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Here's to our burgers. <laughs> Ranger, who's that? Who's that? That's Grandma and Grandpa. <laughs> Where my grandpa are you? <laughs> So today is another beautiful day in April. Um, my in-laws are here in town. So um, they're our RV neighbors. They just parked right next to us for the week. And I just wanted to share uh, some recipes that my mother-in-law has with her sourdough. We have lots of sourdough uh, starter right now that she helped us start, uh, but I don't know what to do with it yet. So she's gonna show us some recipes on what to do with sourdough starter. We're making um, no need sourdough bread. No need? Yes. Okay. It's very simple. So where's your starter? My starter is over here. <laughs> Mine's I, a little bigger. I, I, call, I call him Junior because he came from yours. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's right, okay. Yeah. To start with, all we need is a half cup, I always use this spatula, no need. We need a half a cup of starter in there. Okay. And then a cup of water. Okay. Do you use, you will use wood, right? You don't use metal? Right, in the actual mix itself. Okay. Yeah. Because that messes it up. Yeah. Okay. And and metal, like we said, metal, this is metal, but that's okay because I'm not putting it actually in where the yeast and all of this stuff is working. Okay. And then we mix in a cup of water. And how much of this is? Of it's this just going to be one loaf. Oh, okay. One round loaf. Nice. And mix this up. And in a separate bowl, and I usually use a, a larger bowl for this part because you pour the starter into this in the next step. So you want three cups of flour, add one teaspoon of salt. To the dry or the wet? The flour, the dry. Okay. We're good to go. Dump that in there. Moist. And it does get gummy. <laughs> yeah. Have you done this in an oven? I know we're doing in the cast oven. Um, I do not. I have a Dutch oven with the coals on the top and okay. and underneath, so that's the way Virgil does that part. Let's see, sometimes you have to add just a dab more. It just depends kind of on the conditions and everything. But maybe we'll get more it this. More flour? No, it would be more uh, water, but I think we're gonna get it. And kind of hard to form into a, a ball but you can kind of see it's just kind of like that you can see there isn't break any dry left it's pretty much all all moist in there now okay I just take a, a cloth and cover it up and we let it rest for a half an hour okay so to recap you put you mix water in one bowl with the what? starter. With the starter. Oh, okay, with the starter. And mm -hmm. then in the dry, you put just regular flour. flour. I used on bleach just because that's what I have, because that's what I use with my starter. Yeah, because you don't want to use bleached. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. So make sure it's unbleached with... Salt, a teaspoon of salt. Okay. And then kind of mix that up. Mm -hmm. And then you add the starter and the water in with the dry ingredients until there isn't 
really any dry left. Okay. And then you let it cover it up and let it set for a uh, half hour. And then we'll come back and we'll kind of just fold it under a little bit on yeah. one side and then fold it up under another side, make it into more of a ball. And then we let it rise for another okay. hour to hour and a half. Is this for the smoke? Oh yeah, this is for the brisket. Sweet. just a little bit of flour on the top and then I'm going to fold it over once like that and then fold it over again and then I'm just going to kind of tuck those ends in the best I can kind of make it into a ball Kind of tuck them under like that. And then what we do, we use a Dutch oven and we're going to use um, coals to do it outside. Right now, I go ahead and put a uh, parchment thing inside the Dutch oven just to keep it easier to clean up with this and everything and just put that right in there like that. I'll just place this in the middle and I put a little more flour, just sprinkle a little bit more flour on the top and then we will let that uh, rise for another hour and a half. Okay. And then we'll come back and it should have come close to doubling in size at that point. Washed out kind of like it's supposed to and Great. we're gonna go ahead and do a cut an X that helps with the expanding because it'll do that or break anyway so we go ahead and cut just the surface there is this art does this come rounded yes this is for um, it's actually made for cast iron um, Dutch ovens so you can just get lodge uh, cast iron okay. parchment paper. Okay, put the lid on, and if I'm strong enough, we'll carry it out. <laughs> so why do you guys use a Dutch oven instead of a putting bread in the regular oven? Um, just because we've never tried it in the real oven. <laughs> we like the Dutch oven, so we've just, that's the... The way we were taught to do it, so that's just how we do it. It's extra campy. And it's fun. Yeah. Hey, 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 don't go there. That's hot, buddy. <laughs> Check it in about 10 minutes and see that the heat is the right distance away. Or we'll pull it away farther if it's too much heat. And we can add more to the top or take off depending on if the top is getting too done. So we have our sourdough bread and then we have brisket being smoked currently. Nice 
tap it and see if it. Yeah, I think it's, I think done. it's done. How long did that take with the wind and everything? About 40 minutes. Yeah. Because was the wind a factor this time? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Nice. Yeah, that smells so good. <laughs> <laughs>